name? It's hard to say in English. Well, just say it in your language. All right. My name is... Well, Daryl Hannah made waves in the modern-day fairy tale splash back in the 1980s. It was a big hit that led to several other popular movies, including Roxanne and my favorite, Kill Bill. Mm -hmm. And she continues to make movies to this day. But that is not all. She is an impassioned environmentalist activist, too. And on a much lighter side, she designs board games with a very cool friend of hers. Her name is Hillary Shepard. Daryl, welcome. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> first of all, what don't you do? Let's, do, let's start there. Um, I love that you guys created this game. You yeah. and your best friend Hillary, who happens to be, well, we'll get, we're going to get a shot of you eventually. We want to, but she's just right over there. So, what made yeah. you come up with with the concept of this um, game? Well, actually, it's an old parlor game. It's yeah. been around for centuries, but um, it, you need a huge library of books in order to play it. Okay. And and not every book is actually uh, applicable to the game. So we wanted to make it so that we could take it with us on vacation because one time we were in a vacation house uh -huh. and there were no books, so we ah, couldn't right. play. And it, it turns out that it's everyone's favorite game. We're big game. So you don't have to be a smarty pants to play this game. No, no, it's a bluffing game. It's a bluffing oh, game. So a the idea is there are lines on these cards, and some of them are actual first lines in a book, and some of them are made up. Well, created? okay, you have a, you have different categories okay. of books, okay. like children's books, classics, yeah. fiction, mm -hmm. romance novels, okay. etc. You roll to one of those categories. You pick a book from that category. You read the title, the author, and a brief description. Uh -huh. And then you have a few minutes to write a fake first line to make sure that oh. everyone thinks yours is the real one. Uh -huh. And you mix the real one in there, and then everyone tries to guess, and you can never never guess which is huh. the real one. It so would... between you and Hillary, who yeah. wins well, most? Oh, there's Hillary. Let's get a shot of your best friend. You guys have known each other, by the way, since high school? 16. Yeah. Since you were 16 yeah, years old. Awesome. See, that's that's what I love. Sense. That tells a lot about you, that you have like long, long time friends yeah. like her. Yeah, and we, 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 we're we both like game obsessed, toy obsessed, and we're just, we, we love the same thing. And you're obsessed, I know you're obsessed with your, your activism, your environmental mm. activism. That's so much in the forefront of your life, isn't it? Um, you know, it's we're, we're facing c times of great crises right yeah. now, and so it's important to speak out and share information, I think. And you were recently even arrested, yeah. and, and we were yeah. talking about, you know, these days people speak out, but not with passion. We kind mm -hmm. of chit-chat at the water cooler, but really being willing to take that step that we're looking at with the handcuffs, yeah. it says so much about where you stand and mm -hmm. how you feel. Well, in this case, I mean, there's a, over 500 mountaintops in America have been blown up and dumped into the rivers and valleys below, c crushing thousands of miles of headwater streams and most people in America don't even realize that's going on in the Appalachians. Mm -hmm. And so part of the fact that we were getting arrested was saying, yes, we need to get off our addiction to fossil fuels. Right. But also, this horrible tragedy is happening in America. We're letting our mountain ranges, our oldest mountain ranges, be destroyed yeah. and blown up. Look at your eyes. When you talk about something you love, you just keep a good life. Real quick, um, you have, do you have a project coming up, a movie coming up? Uh, I have a movie called A Closed Book coming up, um, mm -hmm. yes, with with uh, Tom Conti. It's we are so mm -hmm. excited to have Thank you here, Dale. Come back anytime yeah, and visit and us. And this is at Barnes & Noble. Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Hillary. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great best she friend. is a lover. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Still to come, Louis Lacari. He actually is going on the streets, finding women with uh, having, who are having a.